So now let's work around with highlights and tone effects inside of Tone Boom Harmony. So to do that, I'm going to go around and bring in an elliptical tool. So just drag around an elliptical shape right over here. I'm going to fill it out with this color right here, just like that. So now what I want to do is I need to add in highlights over here right around this section and tone right around over here as if the light is shining uh, in that direction, just like that. So now what I'm going to do is there's the drawing right over here. Uh, I'm going to add in a new layer over here and I'm going to uh, add in a drawing right over here and say that it's a highlight just like this. So I'm going to uh, rename it, type in highlight just like that. It doesn't matter which color I uh, draw it with now. So I'm just going to go around and let's say just, I'm just going to draw around with black. So I'm going to go around and take my brush tool and I'm going to imagine that the light source is coming from here. I'm just going to drag around and draw a highlight area just like this. So just like that, I need to just cover up the area which needs to be highlighted right over here. So just like that, I covered up the area. Now I need to make up toned area as well. So I'm going to add in a new layer over here, uh, drawing, and this is going to be tone and I'm going to add in close. So the tone is going to be this bottom area right here. So just drag it around just like that. And that's the tone area over here. So just drag it around over here. That's the tone area. So I have my highlight and tone defined now. I can hide those layers out for a while. So now let's first work around with the highlight and then the tone. So for that, I need to add in the effect. So if you're using essentials, then you press the plus icon right here. You go to effects and bring in highlight and toning. But in my case, uh, I'm using uh, premium, so I need to go over here onto the node library and the node view. So I'm going to go to node view right over here and there you can see there is highlight and tone right over here which is hidden, the two layers. I'm just going to keep it on to the left. This is the drawing right over here. So now I'm going to go on to the uh, node library right over here, bring this out. And once I bring this out, I'm going to go to um, Highlights, so I'm just going to type in highlight. There's the effect. Let me just drag it onto the right over here, just like that. And the other effect that I want is tone. So just drag in tone right over here, just like that. So I'm going to link the tone to composite. So it appears over here and link the highlight to composite as well. So there's the tone and there's the highlight as you can see right over there. So just like that, I'm just going to close the node now. I'm going to work around with the rest all over here itself. So on the drawing, first let's work around with the highlight. So drag in the highlight under the drawing right over here. So it's linked out. And in highlight, you need to choose the layer which you want to highlight. So in my case, it's this layer right over here. So just drag in the highlight layer under highlight right over here. And you can see that it crops out. And it is still black because we have actually selected this. So if I were to select highlight now, you can see that the highlight effect actually comes into play. So I can change around the uh, channel right here. So yeah, I can change around the color blue. I can change around. I can uh, actually make it shuttle as you can see or increase around certain color to give it a bit of shade right over there. So it works like a highlight for that area as you can see as if the light is shining out from that area. Let me just keep everything to 100 right here to get back to the default setting right over here because I do not want to give it any tone right here. So let's just change the blue tone. I'm going to have around 200 right over here. So there's subtle. You can work around with the alpha channel to make it darker or brighter. So let me just make it a bit darker just like that. And there you go. You got the highlight area over there. So once highlight is done, let us work around with the tone now that is the shadow area. So I'm going to drag in the tone under highlight right just like that. And then for the tone, I'm going to enable the tone layer, drag the tone under uh, the um, drag the tone under the mat uh, area right over here and the tone is there. Select tone and there you can see that there's the tone right over there. Now again in the tone area as well you can work around with the alpha channel right over here to make it more shuttle as you can see. And now you see that there's the highlight and everything going around right there. So you do not need to actually work around with individual colors. You can go around in the tone right over there and once you make any changes right over there for example, it automatically gets changed into drawing. Work around with the highlights. You want to remove out a certain thing. So you want to erase out, let's say, for example, erase this out over here. 
and what happens is that it gets updated as you can see right over there so let's go on to highlight and I'm going to go around into tool properties let me just increase the eraser size over here and erase this out just like that and you can see that uh, the highlight area is now changed just like that so it's very very dynamic and you can work around with however you like so let's go to highlight again add in some more uh, spots right over here as if they are twinkling right over there go to drawing and there you go there's the highlight uh, coming into effect just like that so that is how you can work around with highlight and tone inside of Toon Boom Harmony and uh, have different shades in colors in your objects to make it more dynamic so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe